After we have successfully configured our Laravel home state, and the next step is to configure our MySQL. So to work with the MySQL uh, graphically with a GUI, we will use a PHP My Admin. But in the Laravel homestead, we are unable to make use of it because uh, it's, uh, it doesn't come pre-built with a, a PHP My Admin. So we have to install and configure a PHP My Admin by ourselves to work with our MySQL database. And I think for that one is the first step is to go to this website, the phpmyadmin.net, and you can download the file, the required zip file. And I have already downloaded for it. So I'll just go to my download folder and I'll just copy this one. So just copy this one that you have downloaded. And let's go to our website uh, folder where we are in the documents and our website. This is our current, uh, the PHP uh, project that we created and just paste it over here. And we need to extract it, just uh, extract it and we'll create a name as uh, let let us give us a name as a php my admin and let me remove this one so we have successfully added the the php my admin inside our website file and the next step is to configure our the homestead uh, the file the configuration file for our homestead so uh, the thing that we can need to configure is the folder and also the site so just copy this one and paste it below and let me arrange the intent properly and so the file is inside php my admin just copy this one and just paste it over here so the save folder for php my admin and for the vibrant the homestead we need to configure code and let's say as a php my admin just rename this as a php my admin so we create a separate folder for our PHP my admin and as well as our blog which is our PHP project so uh, we have configured the folder save folder and the next step is to configure our site sites are our domain name so let me create a new site over here okay, let us uh, configure it and let us give as a PHP my admin so we can just say as uh, we can just call it as let's say PHP my admin the test and we need to map that one to this folder so just copy this folder and let's uh, paste it over here so we have uh, mapped the folder which is our uh, the share folder is over here just make sure you type it correctly the location and this is our domain name so we have two domain names now one is phpmyadmin.test and another one is blog.test so the phpmyadmin is configured to this directory so this directory and this directory should be the same and this is our host directory so where our files we have we will be placed so this is the file that we have placed over here and just save this one for now and the next step is we need to configure our host file so this is our host file Make sure you open in administrative mode before we configure. And we'll just copy this line and just paste it over here. And instead of the blog.test, we need to pass in this PHP my admin.test. Just copy this and just paste it over here. And just uh, save this one. So we have configured our host file and configure our the config file for our home state. And the next step is to uh, restart our virtual home device so the command to re restart our home state is to vibrant reload that's that provision so if you are not sure how to make use of this then you can just type a command as a vibrant and it will uh, give you all of the list of the file uh, sorry command that we can make use of so if you see over here the reload reload command restart the vibrant machine and load new configuration file and also we have to make use of uh, another one which is provisions so here is we are using provision the new, uh, new uh, uh, provision the vagrant machine so we'll uh, make use of this command which is a vagrant reload dash dash provision and just hit enter so this will uh, restart the virtual machine and reload all of our configuration 
that we have just changed in our homestead file over here, the configuration file. So just wait for this one to up. Okay, so the homestead is running and you can see. And let's connect to the homestead using a vibrant the, the SSH. And let's go inside and check the, whether the file has been uh, synchronized properly between host and a uh, virtual machine. So I'm just going to CD code and uh, let's say ls and we have blog and the php my admin and let's go to cd the php my admin and just list the file okay so all of the file has been copied inside so the synchronization has been done and let's go back now let's go back to our uh, file over here configuration file and we just copy this one and just copy this one and open it in our browser just paste it over here and yeah that's working and we are we have a PSP my admin and we need to log in so to log into the PSP my admin uh, we need to check the default uh, login uh, for that one so let's see where is the database so database connection so database connection is over here and by default let me check what is the login detail so I uh, yeah it's the the default username and password for both database is a homestead and a secret. So let's copy this the name homestead. Just paste it over here and the password is a secret, right? No, sorry. Yeah, the password is uh sorry, so the password is here. So just copy this and just paste it over here and let's log in. Okay, so the login is successful and we have our database over here and it's the homestead that we have configured. So that's it and now we have successfully configured our PHP my admin to work with our Laravel homestead. And on the next step, we have to create a database and just configure our PHP my strong. Uh, we really need to configure and connect to our database in the so let's meet up in the next lecture and see how we can configure our database.